everybody, it's Miss Michelle. I hope everybody is home, healthy and safe. Miss Jen, Miss Christine and I miss you guys so very much and we cannot wait to see you all again. So since you guys can't come to school, we are going to send a little bit of school home to you. Things are gonna be a little different, circle time's gonna be a little different, um, but I have a friend here Pete the cat. Say hi to Pete. That's going to help me through the day. Hello to Peyton. So nice to see you. Hello to Ryder. So nice to see you. Hello to Carter. So nice to see you. Hello to Owen. So nice to see you. Hello Antonio. So nice to see you. Hello to Sawyer. So nice to see you. Okay, let's start our circle time with the month. The month is March. March. Can you say March? Excellent. Fantastic. So let's sing our month of the year song. Are you ready? Okay. January, February, March and April, May and June and July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Wow! That was great! Pete, wasn't that great? I know! They are amazing. So let's move right on to the days of the week. So yesterday was Sunday, March 22nd. I wonder what today is. Sunday, Monday, right. Today is Monday, March, let's see, 23rd. So let's say it all together. Monday, March 23rd. Fantastic. So let's sing our Days of the Week song. But when we get to Monday, we're not just going to say Monday. We are going to yell, put our hands up, and we're going to yell, Monday! Okay, let's give it a try. You ready? You ready, Pete? Okay. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great singing. Okay, so let's move on to the weather. So when I woke up this morning, I didn't know what kind of weather we had outside. So I went over to my window. I looked outside. And I saw that it was cloudy. So then I opened up my window just a little bit and oh, it was cold. So I would say that today is cloudy and cold. What do you think, Pete? Were you cold today? You were. Okay. So Pete agrees with me. Today is cloudy and cold. So can you guys sing the weather song with me? and then we'll put our arrows to the right bears. Great! All right, you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny or cold today? Okay, let's take our arrows and point them to the right weather band. So let's see, we have rainy, no. We have foggy, we have sunny, no, right Pete? Windy, cold, oh, cl cloudy, okay Pete. Cloudy, and then we have, not rainy, but cold, oh, cold, right, cold. There we go. So today is 
cloudy and cold. Okay, the last part of circle time is our clock. Our clock has 12 numbers, and I want everybody to count with me. First, I want you to count very, very loud, and then I want you to count very soft, like a whisper. I want you to show your mom and your dad and your brothers or your sisters or your grandpa or your grandma how you know how to count all the numbers on this clock. Do you think you could do that? I do. Are you ready? You ready, Pete? All right. Here we go. First, we're going to do it loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fantastic. Good job. Everybody give yourself a clap. So now, let's whisper. Are you ready? Here we go. So one more thing that I want to show you in our circle time today was, remember when we left last week, we built a leprechaun. Remember our leprechaun trap? Well, the leprechaun came into our classroom and left the box, some stuff actually in the box for us. When I looked in, we weren't able to catch him, but he left us, look, I know Pete, right? This is so cool. A note. It says, dear friends, nice try trying to catch me. You almost caught me but I'm too clever. Perhaps you will have better luck next year. I hope you enjoyed St. Patrick's Day. I left you some gold chocolate coins. My favorite. See you next year, Mr. Clever the Leprechaun. Oh, you want me to look inside? Oh, you think that the coins are inside? Oh, let's look, let's look. <gasps> Oh, Pete's right. Look. He left us gold chocolate coins. So when you receive your little package from our school today, you look inside and see if there's any chocolate coins that came your way. Okay, because remember, leprechauns love rainbows and they love gold. So since we've been talking a lot this month about rainbows and what colors are in the rainbow, I thought it'd be a lot of fun if I read the book to you, The Rainbow Fish. And then when we're done, we could make our very own rainbow fish. How about that? All right, I'm gonna start, but the first thing I need you to do is put on your listening ears. Pete, do you have your listening ears on? Okay, great. And everybody sit up. Here we go, the rainbow fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at 
the beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Look how his, his scales, they shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? What do you think you are? Cried the Rainbow Fish. Get away from me. Wow, that wasn't very nice, right, Pete? Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam. What good were the dazzling shimmer, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cove, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in his glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how happy you will be. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish waved. Only one very, very, small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss that one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you so very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully and he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scales glittering in the water. Aww. The little blue fish wheezed through the ocean with his scale flashing so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. I had a feeling, Pete. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away yet he was so very happy. 
Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Oh. The end. See how nice he was? He shared, just like all of you share in my class. I love it. So now I'm going to teach you how to make this craft. Okay, let's start our craft. We are going to make a rainbow fish. We have all different colors on the rainbow fish. We have red and green and purple and yellow and blue and orange. And all these colors make up what a rainbow looks like. So first we're gonna start with a paper plate. And this is our tail. And first we're going to open up our glue stick and we're going to take the glue and put it on the paper plate and then stick any color that you would like of the tissue paper right on the glue. And you can do this in many, many, many different colors. You can do a pattern, or you could just do the colors you like, whatever you would like to do. But don't forget his tail. He needs that to swim. Right, Pete? Then we're going to take his tail. We're going to turn this over. We're going to put some glue on the back and glue underneath. And we're going to glue it on. And you have his tail. Then we can take some of our little gems and we can put them on the fish to make him sparkle and glitter like a rainbow fish in our story. Don't forget the eye. He has to see where he's going. There you go, your rainbow fish. And remember, you can use as many pieces of tissue paper that you would like, or you could just use a few. I hope you have fun making this. I know I sure did. You did too, Pete? Oh, great. Since we've been talking a lot about rainbows and the colors in the rainbow, I thought it would be fun if we did a little science experiment with Skittles and we made our own rainbow. I took all the Skittles, and they're all different colors of the rainbow, and I lined them all up in a pattern on the plate. So I would love for you guys to help me say the colors that are in the rainbow. So first I want to start over here, okay? You ready? Pete, you ready? Okay. Red orange, yellow, green, and purple. That was great, awesome. So now I would like you to help me finish putting all the Skittles around in, this, in the shape of a circle. See, a circle. And let's see if it's gonna form a rainbow, you ready? So, Red, I'd like you to say that with me. Red, what comes next? Orange, yellow, green, purple. Red, orange, yellow, 
green, and purple. Red, and orange is where we're going to end it because there's only enough room for those. So now, any experiment that you do at home, you always have to do with a parent, okay? So you have to make sure your mom and your dad or your grandma and grandpa is with you. So we're gonna take some warm water and we're going to pour it over the Skittles to see if it forms a rainbow. What do you think? Let's see. Is anything happening? <gasps> wow. It's starting to form. The water, because it's a little hot, is melting the colors of the Skittles off of them to make a rainbow. What do you think? This is pretty awesome. You like it, Pete? Me too. Wow, look at all those beautiful colors. So remember, when you go to the store with your parents and you see some Skittles, they're not only to eat, even though they taste really good, they actually can make a rainbow. Well, it's almost finished. And look how beautiful. Well, that's all for today. So let's sing our goodbye song. Actually, you know what? Let's sing a different song. I know what everybody loves this song that we sang at the end of the day. Open, shut down. Can you guys sing along with me? Pete, can you sing with me? Awesome. You ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. <laughs> oh, I love this one. But now it's time to say goodbye. We had lots of fun today, so let's all say hooray. See you all another day. Let's be on our way. We miss you. Hugs and kisses to all. Bye.